Around the fire, burning bright, sits a family not knowing of their dreaded night. Together they sit, like every night before, happy and cheery, but always wanting more. Then along came a guest who made them rethink their fate, but little did they know it was already too late. The family then pondered over their fate. Now look what they would change of their current state. wish that we could have a good farm in Bartlett, or Bethlehem, or Littleton, or some other township around the White Mountains, but not where they would tumble on our heads. I should want to stand well with my neighbors, and be called squire, and be sent to the general court for a term or two, for a plain, honest man do as much good as a lawyer. And when I should be grown quite an old man, a slate gravestone would suit me as well as a marble one, with just my name, age, and verse of him and something to let people know that I lived an honest man and died a Christian. As I looked gravely into the fire, I drew a breath that was almost a sigh. It forced its way, despite a little struggle to repress it. Then blushing, I looked quickly around the circle, afraid that someone might have caught a glimpse into my desires. It was then that the stranger asked me what I'd been thinking of. I answered nothing, but only that I was lonesome just then. Perhaps it was a germ of love springing into my heart, so pure that it might blossom in paradise, since it could not be matured on earth. For I worship such gentle dignity of his, and proud, yet kind soul is often discaptivated by simplicity like mine. I have provided my grave clothes some years before. A nice linen shroud, a cap with muslin ruff, and everything of a finer sort that I have worn since my wedding day. A strange superstition was now strangely reoccurring to me. Like it used to be said, if anything were amiss with my corpse, if only the ruff were not smooth, or the cap did not set right, I will strive in the coffin to put up my cold hands and arrange it. The bare thought makes me nervous. I would like my children, when I am dressed in the coffin, to hold a looking glass over my face. Who knows? I may take a glimpse of myself and see whether all is right. Around the fire burning bright is a family now knowing of their dreaded night. Together they desperately flee, run for their refugee and hover, were tragically swept from the step and perished before cover. Yeah. Look at me. Oh my god. Oh, that's oh. Almost there. Okay, this is the last time I live okay. for reals. Watch me screw up really bad this time. My bun is out. <sighs> yo, yo, I'm a Gmail Craig. We're gonna have to do a little Gmail Craig after this.